Des Lackleson taught at Kent throughout the Forster School's entire existence, and today he's showing people round who were also once teachers or studied here. The site near Britain's Rheindahl and military base went into private ownership after it was returned to the German authorities in 1991, but has been largely abandoned ever since. A preservation order on a place originally built more than 100 years ago and where Franciscan monks once cared for disabled children means that it can't be demolished. Hens now lay eggs in old classrooms, and what was once the school gym is now a stable. It's quite depressing. The state of the building now has just been left to, well, to rot. Ian Barron taught high up in a fourth-storey physics lab. That was my teaching room. My tutor room was the furthest away at the top, on the top floor of the other building. I used to be quite fit then. From the 1960s to its closure in 1990, Kent was ranked in the top 25% of Britain's schools. A young girl left and went to Oxford, got a very good degree. There was a girl in here until the third year called Tanita Tikaram, who put out that nice record, Ancient Heart. The school employed more than 100 staff, teaching around 1,400 children. After the war and before it became a school, the site was also used as a British military hospital. That would be, you know, obviously the radiology. But the site's history includes a much darker period under the Nazis. A memorial is dedicated to several hundred disabled children taken into care here and then executed. When Alex Dady went to the school in the 1980s, there were inevitable tales of hauntings. We all knew which bits of the of the building were supposed to be um, supposed to be haunted, but uh, but no. Despite looking, whether there were ghosts or not, I don't know. <laughs> but you wouldn't get many people walking through the school at night. As British forces prepare to leave the area, the organizer of today's visit explains why it matters so much. Germany is closing. Lots of people are very sad about that. It's important that the memories go on because people need to know where they started. It may have closed 23 years ago, but Kent School continues today as an online community. That may well outlive the dilapidated buildings where they once taught and studied. Rob Olver, Forces News, Waldniel in Germany.